Volcanoes have stirred human awe for thousands of years with their bursts of fire and rivers of molten rock. Yet beyond the familiar cone-shaped peaks lies a more silent, hidden danger, supervolcanoes. These colossal forces don't rumble often, but when they do, the aftermath can reach across continents. Studying these sleeping giants offers not just fascinating science, but also sobering warnings for the planet's future. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike typical eruptions, these blasts eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. That's enough to bury entire cities under layers of ash. They don't look like the volcanoes you might picture either. Instead of peaks, they often form as massive calderas, huge sunken areas created when the magma chamber empties and collapses. Long before the dramatic 2024 eruption at Black Diamond Pool captured global attention and rekindled concerns over Yellowstone's hydrothermal volatility, Excelsior Geyser had already cemented its reputation as one of the park's most formidable and awe-inspiring geothermal features. In fact, during the late 19th century, Excelsior set the gold standard for explosive hydrothermal activity. While alarming, hydrothermal eruptions like this are not unheard of in Yellowstone. Many pass unnoticed due to their occurrence in remote areas during winter months or under the cover of night. Smaller explosive events have left behind craters up to 3 meters, 10 feet, wide, like the 1989 incident at Port Chop Geyser or the more recent April 15, 2024 eruption near Porcelain Basin. However, blasts as powerful as the one at Black Diamond Pool are exceptionally rare, likely occurring only a few times each century. Well before these recent events, one geyser stood out for its unmatched ferocity and grandeur, Excelsior Geyser, located in Midway Geyser Basin, beside the famous Grand Prismatic Spring. Though it was not mentioned in early records from 1839, it was active by 1871, when it earned the nickname The Cauldron. By the late 1870s, it had begun building a fearsome reputation. Between 1881 and 1882, Excelsior erupted with astonishing regularity and violence. Towering jets of water and steam, ranging from 30 to 110 meters, 100 to 360 feet high, burst forth every hour or so. These eruptions often lasted several minutes, releasing such immense volumes of water that the nearby Firehole River swelled noticeably. Some of the geyser's towering plumes were reportedly visible from as far as 160 kilometers, 100 miles away, resembling distant clouds on the horizon. But the spectacle wasn't just visual, it was geological. Tour guide Nestor Henderson described the eruptions as accompanied by ground tremors and the collapse of mineral formations. Fragments of geyserite and rock were launched skyward, crashing down with earth-shaking impact. It was this mix of awe and raw power that led Yellowstone's second park superintendent, Philetus Norris, to bestow the geyser with its now iconic name. After a year of nearly continuous activity, Excelsior went quiet in 1882. Though sporadic eruptions may have occurred in the years that followed, the next confirmed display didn't arrive until 1888. That year, photographs documented violent activity, including 30 centimeter, one foot, rocks being hurled more than 150 meters, 500 feet, into the air. This brief resurgence continued until about 1890, after which Excelsior slipped into an extended dormancy. One possible minor eruption was noted in 1901, but the geyser then fell completely silent for generations.